There's no better way to start a Saturday morning than with a drive through the misty hills of Chikmagalur. And today we are here with the third generation of the Volkswagen Tiguan you see here. Now Volkswagen is saying that they're targeting the likes of the X1, the Q3 and the GLA with this car. But size-wise we reckon this one is closer to the Hyundai Tucson. So Volkswagen already has the edge on size over its target competitors. But what about the rest of the car? Is it a hit or is the all-new Volkswagen Tiguan a miss. Stay tuned to find out. The styling is typically European and understated. This straight lace design theme is carried on inside as well. It's all very, how should I put it, uh, corporate and business like. Well laid out with everything placed logically. It's not overtly blingy and flirts with boredom. But on the upside, this sort of styling tends to age much, much better than something that might seem more contemporary at first. The other thing that you notice about the Tiguan is how well built this vehicle is. The shut lines are immaculate and uniform and everything shuts with a solid reassuring thud. Under the bonnet is VW's tried and tested 2-litre TDI engine mated to the brilliant 7-speed DSG. The engine produces 141 bhp and 340 newton meters of peak torque. Quite frankly, those aren't class-leading figures and yet the engine feels strong. I would say a lot of that has to do with that beautiful DSG box that ensures you've always got the grunt you need. The result? Decent acceleration, especially in gear acceleration, and excellent cruising abilities. Not to mention, the vehicle feels phenomenally planted in a straight line. Be it in the narrow, twisty roads around Chikmaglu or on these wonderful highways, the Tiguan is holding itself really well. It's very stable. There is a hint of a body roll. The suspension seems to be a little soft, but uh, by and large, it's stable around turns at speed. It's all good. The handling is in true Volkswagen style. The handling is absolutely superb. The steering, well, it's a little low on feedback, but on the plus side, it's light to use. So in the city, a big car like this, maneuvering through traffic is not a problem. So all in all, it's all good. The ergonomics are well sorted. It's pretty loaded too. Um, there's a big touch screen, steering mount controls, cruise control, and all sorts of gizmos and gadgets to keep you happy and to top it off there's a nice nice big panoramic sunroof which opens up at the touch of a button what more could you want really well for starters uh, i wouldn't mind a sat nav system that works on its own this one currently relies on being paired with a smartphone to be able to tell you where to go next for a car of this size of this class of this price point I would think a sat-nav is an absolute must-have. The other thing that I would really like is a little less noise filtering into the cabin. If you, if I step on it, you will also hear it. The engine sound filters through into the cabin. Sometimes when you go over a big pothole, the thud of the suspension also filters in. Those are things I would probably like to cure. But other than that, so far, nothing to complain about. So here we are, back in Bangalore. Seven hours since we started off in Chikmagalu this morning. And in those seven hours, we have run over 330 kilometers. Frankly, I thought I'd be a disaster. But guess what? I'm not. And a lot of that credit goes down to the first part of the one that I've been driving today. With its excellent ride quality, great dynamics, strong willing motor, and plush interior, it makes short work along the distance. It's pretty loaded to Yes, we could have done with a little less noise filtering into the cabin. It certainly should have had the fat nav. But these are small things, things you can live with. Overall, it's a great package. There's a catch there. There are others who are offering as much for less money. So in that sense, Volkswagen will have its task cut out. But here's the thing. That is a matter of pricing price. As a product, it's a thumbs up to the Volkswagen to be honest. 